Shannon, and we're here today for another episode of Cocktails and Creativity. Today's craft I am super excited about. We are gonna be doing needle felting, and some of you might not even know what that is, but watch, because it's gonna be super fun. And I'm gonna introduce you to my new pack of friends. I'm Joan. Hi. Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm Trish. Okay, so let me tell you about what we are eating and drinking this week. I have done uh, tiki cocktails. Tiki is kind of made um, a resurgence and it's kind of a big deal everywhere. Um, so I wanted to do a couple of um, classic cocktails and um, today we are drinking a Singapore sling. Except Seth. Seth's not drinking a Singapore sling. Seth is, <laughs> Seth is drinking orange juice. Pineapple juice. Oh, pineapple. Okay, all right. So Singapore sling and the snack to go along with the Singapore sling, which is Trisha's contribution, is a Spam Musubi, which is like a Spam Sushi. Who's ready to craft? Me. Me. <laughs> Do you all notice anything different about my uniform today? <laughs> you are yes. wearing really awesome zombie earrings. And I okay. want them. Right? I do too. They come in too. <laughs> right? Yes, I made these doing needle felting, which is the craft that we are going to do today. I am going to teach you how to make a little bowl. And then from the little bowl, you can make all the other things. What you can do is um, embellish the circles as well, not just with needle felting, because this whole, like these are all needle felting. There's nothing else on that. But I also have um, uh, like embroidery thread so you can also add embroidery thread oh. to the beads oh. to dress it up in right. different colors or um, even sew seed beads to it and then string all of your beads onto a bracelet or a necklace. So for supplies you can um, order kits like really super cheap. I ordered one that has a little kit like this. It has like the scissors and the needles and the sponge, the wool. Okay, so that's the other thing you need. Uh, wool roving is what this is called, R-O-V-I-N-G. So your needles and your foam and your roving. If you wanted to like get started right away, that is all you need, it's all you need. So the little <laughs> kit came with these little leather like finger guys. There's like, okay, so there's one for your thumb and then one for your party, I swear! <laughs> so, because what you do is then you hold your, you, you hold your yarn in, or your roving in between your fingers and you take the needles and what you do over and over and over is poke, 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 stab, 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 stab. And they are um, very fine, pokey, stabby needles. And all you're doing is poking and stabbing over and over and over. So, odds are, you are going to stab yourself. Okay, so, now, pick your color of whatever bead you're gonna do. For some reason, this, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this other than make a circle, but for some reason, this color was speaking to me. I love that me. color. You do not need very much. You start, and then you can always make it bigger by wrapping around and stabbing. Okay, so now kind of spread it out so it's okay. sort of like in one layer and there are like no clumpy things. Three needles. Okay. Okay, three needles. And then you have your Wad of fuzz, very mm -hmm. technical terms. Okay, so you're gonna kind of make it into a little wad, and then you're just, you really are just gonna start stabbing it. Make sure, because these needles are very delicate, that as you poke, you're pulling out the same direction as you're poking in. Like, don't wiggle it around or anything, because because it will break your it'll break your needle. So, do you see? <laughs> as I'm um, poking, I'm also kind of turning it around, right? Turning it's it. Pink. Turning it around over and over because you want to get a nice, even round shape. This is a perfect, nice. perfect craft for when uh, girlfriends need to get together after a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it'll start to firm up, and it and it really will get like into a tight little ball like this. Seth is the overachiever today, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead. Y'all so can watch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Seth's just gonna make a little dot on his ball. Um, you don't need very much. Seth has his little wad of, of black fuzz, and then um, you're gonna switch to one needle for detail. So put it on there, and then and then poke it where you know ow, you want it. Um, and then like whatever shape you want, 
just start doing it in that shape. And as you go around, you can actually kind of grab the outside of it and poke it in, yeah. fold it in. What mm -hmm. do you think, Peta? How am I doing? I think Peta approves. Peta approves? Let me see. We're, we're, I would, yeah, you got to stab deeper. You're still squishy in the middle. Okay. So for your, because uh, Trish has stated she's making emojis. So um, I'm gonna give her a couple of eyes worth and a like a mouth worth. And it's really, it's like you can't even, you probably can't even see that, can you? It's just like barely there. I have found more hair than that on my chin. <laughs> like overnight, more just bing. Oh, I see it. Bing, yeah, <laughs> I see it. Right there, yeah, no. Let me get that. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is another, um, another eyeball. eyeball. Okay. And then this is gonna be like, um, if you um, wanted to do a mouth or a little line, okay. just take a little tiny little fuzzy, and even if you like wanted to twist it a little okay. bit, that would help. Okay. And then start poking it with the one needle in okay. kind of where you want it to be. Okay, so um, I have these little pin tie tacks that I also ordered so that oh. if you want so if you wanted to make it into a little pin, if you want your oh. little emoji or what, do you know, what are you making? Like perfect. Right? Or are you just, just doing do a decor Just thing? a little piece of decor. Sure. Yeah. Now is my favorite part. Well, besides the cocktail part and besides the food part, now is my favorite part. <laughs> the, um, the show and tell part, where I get to see what everybody did. So I just made that little, um, I used the burgundy roving. And I just made a little round bead. Ooh. And then I used embroidery thread and, um, and then metallic thread and just decorated the bead. It's pretty. I love it. Okay, so who's next? Me! Okay. <laughs> Joan is next. Joan's next! I'm excited! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this! <laughs> I copied off of Shannon. Okay, Seth, so oh, what'd you do? I was going for one of those jack-o'-lantern things that you uh, go uh, use in Halloween where you oh, candy yeah. them, of course. Oh, like a trick-or-treat bag. Yeah. I, I went to make the eyes and it was too big and I didn't want to take it out. It's way too lazy. So I just <laughs> <laughs> like that. So you still have a little I like it. Oh, it's still a little. Seth is fancy with the accessories I and know. the handle. It's excellent. I love it. Okay, so I made a flower. <gasps> Peta, she helped me as well, Aww. of course. Peta helped me. But yeah, I did a flower with my favorite color Beautiful. blue. Beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Trisha's turn. I, I made an emoji. <laughs> We would like you to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, you can do that in the section below. And oh my God, please buy a kit and some wool and make some stuff and show us what you did!